What's up, guys? So the UFC Fight Night 214 is canceled between Bryce Mitchell and Mavzar. After this happened, Bryce Mitchell comes out and says he's never been bullied this much in his life online against anybody. And it's a coincidence that this guy who's 16 and 0, Mavzar, pulls out of the fight due to an undisclosed injury. So after months of harassing me and bullying me on the social media, uh, Mavzar pulls out of the fight. You know, and, and and might I say, I've I've never been so bullied in my life, and and I don't really accept the victim mentality. It don't really bother me. You know, it just pisses me off. You know, it makes me want to go in there and punch him right in his face. And uh, he says all these things on me on social media about how I'm a coward and I'm a dumbass and and this and that and that and this and. I, I've never been so harassed in my life. This guy was sending me messages of him smiling. This guy was on every one of my pictures, commenting, fight me, fight me, messaging me, fight me. Uh, then his manager gets on there, or, or him and his fan clubs gets on there and starts making fun of me, uh, making fun of my losses and this and that, uh, calling me a coward, calling me a dumbass. And hey, this coward... This dumbass is going to show up ready to fight. So you can say what you want, but when it come down to it, this guy was ready to go. So you can say all them words, that's fucking cheap, man. Them words don't mean a fucking thing. I was going to show up and give you a piece of my mind, and it wasn't going to be in English, buddy. It was going to be with these. And, uh, you know, I'm, I'm hurt too. I got shit hurting on me, buddy. Okay, I, I just don't go on Instagram and bitch about it. Okay, you don't know when I'm hurting about it because I don't go bitch about it. And and I don't wish no injuries on him either. I hope Mofsar fully recovers. I don't have no, you know, malice and all this hate. And I don't want to even think about the guy no more. But to be sitting there and bullying me that much and harassing me more than I've ever been harassed and bullied in my life. I mean, I'm, I'm beyond fighting mad. I mean, I, I was ready for a damn shootout, okay? I mean, I'm, I was that mad. I mean, I'm to the point where I can't even get on my Instagram and, and not get called a coward and a pussy by this guy. And then we finally get the fight, and I'm happy. And then, bam, he pulls out. So, whatever. He, he eats his words. And uh, I think a worthy opponent would be uh, Sadiq Yusuf. Sadiq has been calling me out. He walked up to me in the elevator and, and <laughs> called me out on the elevator. It's like, whatever, dude. Um, so now here's your chance, Sadiq. You've been talking all this this stuff, and, and I like how you're respectful about it at least. Sadiq's not a bully. He's just been saying he wants to fight me. And so, Sadiq, I do respect you. You are a very worthy opponent, and I'll take that fight in a heartbeat, buddy. Let's make it happen. Bryce Mitchell also put a tweet out saying, Sadiq, since you've been calling me out, I'm going to accept your offer. I know you ain't scared, but I'm worried you got too fat. Ha ha, it's all love, Sadiq, but you know damn well I ain't lying. Make the weight, and let's do it, brother. Sadiq responded saying, you are absolutely correct, Bryce. If we fight, it's definitely not happening in November at this point. 